And, and, and it's ever evolving and evolving very quickly. It's just like vaccines. People will still go, ah, you, you, you got COVID even though you got a vaccine. Well, we didn't, we didn't know. None of us knew. You didn't know exactly how those vaccines would impact the virus. Um, but we've learned quite a few things about the vaccines too. There's a very resilient virus. Uh, mm-hmm. it's a very durable right. virus and, and, and it, it morphs very Variates. quickly. So, so develop a vaccine. And it still helps in a positive way, but it doesn't wipe out COVID. Can you explain what we've learned about vaccines over the last two years? Mm -hmm. Well, there's one very, very obvious fact that is borne up by very solid data. Joe, we know that if you compare unvaccinated people with vaccinated people with regard to hospitalizations and death, there is a overwhelming and dramatic difference of a greater likelihood of hospitalization and death among the unvaccinated. And as the months went by, if you compare vaccinated but not up to date with boosters, with people who are totally up to date on boosters, there's still a difference in the sense of vaccinated and updated boosted people do much better with regard to severity of disease. That's an open and shut case. There's no doubt about that, that vaccines work. But there's another thing that is a bit sobering that we learned, that this virus is so highly transmissible that when you're vaccinated, you may not necessarily get protected against infection, but clearly you get protected against severe disease. And that's caused a lot of confusion among people, because when we went from the original wild type or ancestral strain of the virus that was spreading in January and February of 2020, as we evolved into different variants, including Omicron, it became much more transmissible, not necessarily more serious, but more transmissible. So people who were vaccinated were getting infected. But the critical issue that should not be lost is that the vaccination clearly prevented them, for the most part, from getting severity of disease. Those are the kind of things, Joe, that you mentioned, that as the months and the years went by, we learned more and more. And when you learn more and more, you've got to keep up with that information. There are some other uh, vaccine complications that we need to think about as we develop vaccines. And there's lots of candidate vaccines that exist already. Remember that the candidate vaccines have to go through animals and then have to go into phase one trials humans. So we're talking months. (laughs) But the vaccines for coronaviruses don't work that well in aged individuals. If you have a heterologous strain that differs by one to 2%, it can break through some of these vaccines, especially in the elderly. And then you have a process called Th2 immune pathology, which basically means the vaccine primes the immune response to do bad things when you get exposed to the virus. And so the immune pathology is actually worse in a vaccine. It's been described before with respiratory syncytial virus vaccines in the 80, in the 60s, and that's why we still don't have a respiratory syncytial virus vaccine for children today. And there's evidence of enhancing antibodies, although this is more controversial. These are antibodies that don't neutralize, but they bind to the virus and allow it to infect cells it normally can't infect. The key for any of these treatments for uh, this disease is early diagnosis and early administration of drug. Because ARDS, as I mentioned, um, is an immunopathologic disease. So not only does the virus cause damage, but your immune response causes damage. So at some point, the virus titers drop off and it's all immune-based. And so if you drop your antiviral in too late, it has no effect. you need a single location to get cutting edge information and keep up with the rapidly changing world around us, tune into Grand Theft World. 
where a forensic historian and a logic professor break down the week's news in depth and in context. There's a ton more there, so go check it out. And don't forget to get your Freedom Vault on the homepage. 